This will be for the con exercise. Solve exponential equations using logarithms, base 10 and base E. So in this exercise, we're going to be working with the natural logarithm. That is a logarithm whose base is the number E. So E is, is a number, it's not a variable. E is a mathematical constant. It's an irrational number that is approximately 2.718. Okay, it appears in many contexts that involve limits, which you will likely learn when you study calculus. For now, just treat E as you would any other number. So when you write, um, Instead of writing the base as E, we indicate the logarithm with LN. Okay, that stands for the natural log. So log base E of X is written as LN of X. Okay, you should see LN on your calculator. If you recall, we did this exercise with log base 10. Okay, log base 10 of 10 to the zero is just zero log base 10 of 10 to the first is just one and so on. So if the base of the log matches the base number of the argument, then the answer is just the exponent. So you can keep going on this, but anyhow, the same thing will be true with a natural log. So we just said a minute ago, if it's log base E of a number X, Instead of writing log base E, we write ln of x. And we can do this exact same thing with the number E in ln of x. So we can do the same thing with the number E that we did with the number 10. Okay, if you have the natural log of E to the 0, that's just 0. And remember, the nat remember E to the 0, anything to the power of 0 is just 1. So the natural log of one is just zero. Ln of e to the first power is just one. Okay, and of course, when it's something is to the first power, you don't need to write the first power. That's just the number itself. And ln of e squared is just two and so on. So we said ln is base e. Okay, and when the base of the log, when the base of the log matches the base of the argument, then the answer here will just be the exponent. So just like when we did log base 10 of 10 to different exponents and the answer was just the exponent, the same thing works for log base E. But typically we don't write log base E, we write LN for natural log. So here is our equation, okay? And they want, to solve for t they want us to solve for T and write the solution as a logarithm in base E, okay? So that's gonna be the natural log. And then after that, we're gonna approximate the value and round to the nearest thousandth, that's three decimals. All right, so we're solving this equation for T. This is seven times E, okay? So the opposite of times seven is divided by seven. So I'm gonna do that to both sides and the sevens cancel. All right, and since I have E here, and I wanna isolate this exponent, I'm gonna take the natural log of both sides of this equation. So the natural log of E to the power of 0.1T. And I'm also gonna take the natural log of 47 over seven. All right, and remember we said in the beginning exercise, natural log, natural log of X is the same as log base E of X. Okay, so this natural log is base E. And when the base of this matches the, when the base of the log matches the base of the argument, then the answer is just the exponent. Okay, so this right here is just 0.1t. And this right here, we're gonna leave alone for now. Natural log of 47 over seven. 
Okay, finally, solving for t, this is 0 0.1 times t. And the opposite of that is dividing by 0 0.1. The 0 0.1s cancel. And this is our final answer. Now, this will go over in the go entered in the first box. Okay, we're going to have to evaluate this and round to the nearest thousandth. So this here was ln, okay, I clicked ln of 47 slash 7. Okay, notice I put that in parentheses. Click outside, type slash again, and 0 0.1 in the denominator. Okay, so ln of 47 sevenths divided by 0 0.1. And that is the first answer because they wanted the answer expressed as a logarithm in base E, which is the natural log. Okay, so you can just click on ln or you can type ln, but use parentheses for the argument. Okay, and now we have ln, they give you parentheses, 47 divided by 7, close parentheses, okay, ln of 47 sevenths divided by 0. 0.1. Okay, so that was our first answer. Hit equals, and they said the nearest thousandth. Okay, so that's three decimals. One, two, three. You look at the fourth decimal. If it's less than five, you round it down. So this is going to be 19.042. So in the box, 19.042. Okay, that is the nearest thousandth. All right, so here's our, our next equation. We're solving for z. Once again, we want to express the solution as a logarithm, but this time in base 10. And then again, we're going to round to the nearest thousand. All right, so this time we're working with log base 10 instead of base e. So we're solving for z, and the base number here is a 10. So whatever the base number is initially, that's the base number you want to use on your log, okay? So since this is 10 raised to an exponent, we're going to be using log base 10, okay? But we said before, log base 10 is the same as log when you don't even write it. It's equivalent to log without any base written. It's automatically base 10 when you just write log. Okay, so we're just working with the regular log, which is log base 10. I'm going to apply that to both sides of this equation. Okay, so we're going to do log of 10 to the power of 2z over 3. And we're also going to do the log of 15. You want to apply it to both sides. Do the same thing to both sides. All right. Now, since this is log base 10, and this here is base 10, the solution to this is just the exponent, okay? So this whole thing is equivalent to just the exponent, 2z over 3. And we're going to leave this alone for now, log of 15. Okay. Now, z is multiplied by 2 over 3. To solve for z, we need the reciprocal instead of 2 over 3. We're going to multiply both sides by 3 halves. All right, I don't want you to think I'm taking the log of 3 halves. So I'm going to use brackets here. 3 halves. Okay, on the right, on the left-hand side, 2 over 2 cancels, 3 over 3 cancels, and we're left with z. So this right here goes in the box, and it might be easier to put the three halves out front, okay, because this log 15 is multiplied by three halves. All right, click in the box, type three slash two for three halves. Click on the right of that three halves, and then click log, or you can just type log of uh, 15. 
Okay, you don't. You can use parentheses on the 15 if you want, but you don't have to. And now I'm going to go to the calculator, 3 halves log of 15. All right, so I'm going to do 3 divided by 2 for 3 halves. And I'm going to hit equals and then times the log of 15. And close parentheses. Okay, so it's 1.5 or 3 halves times the log of 15. Hit equals. Again, we're looking for the nearest thousandth. That's three decimals. So you go to the fourth decimal. If it's less than five, you round it down. So this is 1.764. Okay, I'm going to write it off to the side. 1.764. Now, if you type if you type three halves log of 15, it's going to do two times the log of 15 in the denominator. That does not work, okay? And you're going to get the wrong answer. It won't even let you do it, actually. All right, so you can't do it that way. You need to use parentheses on the three halves and then times the log of 15. Okay, and the other option is to do like I did, three halves, hit equals, and then times log of 15. So in the other box, we're entering 1.764. All right, so that's basically it. If your equation, if your equation has, if your equation has a base 10, then use regular log. Okay, if the equation has the base E, then use natural log.